Hello everyone, we will continue the topic enhancements and modifications and in the last videos we are discussing or we are putting so much stress that whenever you are implementing a user exit, what are the various points we should take care. So in the previous videos we studied what is the meaning of X and Y. X means new data, Y means old data. What is the meaning of update indicator? What is the what are the various values of the update indicator? I means insert, U means change, D means delete. So in the previous video, we did the full understanding of all these points. Now it's a turn to write the logic now it's a turn to implement this particular user exit this user exit what is the name of the user exit user exit underscore save underscore document underscore prepare now we will go for a extremely important point which is the most important point among all the videos see user exit is a modification it means we will write the logic into sap code in which namespace in sap namespace itself we'll just go for a better understanding we want to write the logic into this particular user exit this user exit is the part of which program this particular include program is this sap program yes it is sap include program because it starts with m now we will not do anything in the customer namespace we will not at all touch the customer namespace we will simply simply click on to the change mode see we are directly changing the sap program we will write our logic directly into sap program itself i will go for change mode see we are changing the sap program so in that case yes the system will ask for the access key because in sap program you are directly writing your own code so system will ask for the access key now in the projects you can take the access key from the basis person whenever basis person will provide the access key to you you can put the access key and click on to continue button whenever you will click on to the continue button this program this program will open in the change mode whenever this program will open in the change mode you can simply simply write the logic into this particular subroutine just see in sap program we are directly writing our own code we are not at all touching the customer namespace. We are not creating anything into customer namespace. And just see, it is very, very critical process. It is very, very critical step. So whenever you are taking the access key from the basis person and writing the logic, please, please, you should be sure that why, why you are writing that particular code. Now, I do not have the access key. So if I do not have the access key and if you do not have the access key also, still we can practice or still we can do the practical of user exit. So you can also do in that way and I will also sh show you by that way. But in real projects, yes, you will get the access key and in the direct SAP program, you can write the code, you can write your own code. That's why this topic is called as modification. But from the practical perspective, nothing will happen. I will show you other way that how we can do the practical for the same and same way you can do also. See, 
दिस इज ए सब रूटीन दिस इज ए सब रूटीन एट द इनिशियल लेवल वी कवर्ड वन टॉपिक बट इज इम्प्लिसिट एनहांसमेंट इन केस ऑफ इम्प्लिसिट एनहांसमेंट we have the implicit point at the starting or last of the program subroutines and function module at the initial level we covered this topic is this your subroutine yes every user exit is a subroutine so can i show you or can we add our code at the starting or last of this user exit yes by this way i will show you the practical for the same and you can also try in the same way so what we will do i will go for edit i will go for enhancement operation i will go for show implicit enhancement option and you will be able to see that we have a enhancement point at the starting also of the subroutine we have a enhancement point at the last also okay now we will simply simply go to enhance mode this all things already covered you can refer those videos so we will go to enhance mode now i will right click on to the implicit point we will go to enhancement operation and we will create implementation this is the why we are going for this way because i do not have the access key but we should learn the practical part so you can also try in the same way we will go for code i will click on to create button i will give some name to the implementation suppose i will write z check for order quantity we are checking the order quantity now i will give the short description checking the order quantity i will go for okay suppose i will save it as local object we will choose the implementation now we will write the code now we will write the code we are doing just to so that we can do the practical for the same but in the projects you can take a access key from the basis person and you can directly write the code into that particular user exit that's why it is called as modification